Obesity is an epidemic in this country. In fact, medical experts say it is the most serious public health threat of the 21st century. A local mother knows it all too well. For years, she has taken drastic measures to help her nearly 700 pound son lose weight, but nothing has worked. Now, fearing for his life, she decided to get Marty. This is the refrigerator, which we keep locked. Behind lock and key in the dentist's house. This has to stay locked because it has pretty much all the food in it. All of the food as secured in this home as a gun case or a drug cabinet would be. Who locks their food away from kids, you know? It just seems very cruel, but it's what's needed right now. A massive ball of yarn in the hands of a craftsman. This is Anthony's busy work. He crochets. Anthony is nearly 700 pounds. He's IQ tested at 70, considered severely disabled. He's ridiculed in public, does not wish to have his face shown. Dumbo. Dumbo. Uh, pig. Pig. Slob. Slob. Uh, uh, you name it. Uh, in the you name it, you get called. Yes. He's diagnosed as morbidly obese with a severe eating disorder. He's eaten food out of trash cans and dumpsters, and he wants help. I have a anxiety attack of, um, for uh, eating. I say, uh, people call me names, I uh, eat. You would be 350 pounds if you could? Yes. And what do you weigh today? Th uh, 658 pounds. 658? Yes. Family doctors tell the family Anthony's weight, his mental impairment, puts the 27-year-old in a dangerous predicament. It's been very hard. They told me my son would be dead in three to six months. We got two months left and no one's doing anything. Lisa's desperate to get Anthony fully evaluated and treated after four years of trying. And I just want some help. Yeah, there's got to be an answer somewhere. She calls Anthony's eating compulsive, even outrageous, showing us his room, his bed, where she found him a few days ago. He hid an entire loaf of bread covered in hot sauce under the covers on his bed. He had bread laid out here and he had all the hot sauce and stuff and when he seen me coming he pulled the blanket over it so I said what are you doing he said oh I got your Christmas gift for next year under there for his mom that was it if Anthony's Butler County doctors couldn't help she was hoping we could get her to UPMC experts at Western Psych in Oakland you help people I've seen you on the news and I need help and I can't get it anywhere else so my last resort is you within 24 hours of that conversation Anthony and his mother were here on the steps of Western Site, where she fought to get him admitted for evaluation for a long, long time. It's going to mean life or death for my son. UPMC doctors and administrators acted as soon as we made them aware of the situation, promised a full mental and physical evaluation, checked Anthony into Western Site. Mom couldn't be more thankful. Thank you, Marty. Thank you so much. You got more done than anyone else has. Like you got us an appointment today, you know. He's really been working on this for me, and I'm very grateful, and so is my son. That's a mom who loves her boy. Can't thank the folks at Western Psych enough. UPMC can't say much. There are privacy issues here. However, they do say the clinicians at UPMC are helping him. Anthony's mother confirms that, says he met a doctor at Western Psych he calls fantastic. It's a long road. We certainly hope that he's on it. Yeah, we, we absolutely do. This is, of course, something that, that she and, and Anthony have had to deal with for, for some time. Oh, uh, his whole life. Yeah, his whole life. Obviously. But, so why, has not, uh, haven't, why haven't they been able to get any medical help? This is a fantastic this? question. So he has had, he was in a group home, actually, okay. but, and had a very difficult time managing food. He has had counselors. He's had a lot of doctors engaged, but the real belief was that he needs serious in, engagement here, and that's why he ends up in Western Psych. And, Let's hope for the best for the young man. Yeah, absolutely. Marty, thank you. Sure. All right, Marty, thanks a lot. And thanks a lot. And if you have a problem you would like to have Marty help you solve it, email getmarty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244.